fans, Transformers fans, and YouTubers alike, you're with Optirodimus. And another video review. I've been down for a little while because I've been doing some, or having my review stage under construction here. But I've got it fixed up. Still making improvements, but we're ready to go. And I have another review for you today. And we have today. Another figure, it's a smaller one, a Cyberverse figure, and I'm not real big into these small figures, but I thought this one was really cool, so I went ahead and picked it up. Found it at my local Toys R Us. I haven't seen it anywhere else, and it's not an exclusive figure or anything, but right now it's just a little bit hard to find, at least around here it is. But it's the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Cyberverse Legion Class Prowl. Little Legion class, one of the smallest ones they make here. So, first and foremost, let's take a quick look at the packaging. And here you have it. Not much to it. A little small packaging here. There you see Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters down here. Justice Hammer included. Very cool. Over here on the side. Let me adjust my lighting here. Like I say it's really small, but. Okay. Let me back it up here. Anyway, right here you have the tech specs. You can pause that if you want to read it. Like I said, it's really small. This is a small packaging. And on the back, like I said, not a whole lot to it. There you see a nice little screenshot of all the Transformers on the show. Here is Prowl and his robot and vehicle modes, and he also has a one-sentence bio which says, Prowl backs up his strategic genius with his heavy-hitting Justice Hammer. And that's his Justice Hammer. We'll get to that. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. Now we'll get down to the figure himself. A cool little figure here. I thought it was really cool. I liked it. I like the nice, it's a police car. I like the red and blue lights on top. And it's going to be really hard to see details because this figure is quite small, being a Legion class. But uh, right here on the front of the car, you see it's painted black. It's, like I said, black and white. So it's not got a lot of paint on it, but it looks good for a police car. But there's a white star here. And in the center of the star, like I said, it's probably going to be really hard to see, but there is. A nice little tiny Autobot symbol pinned right in the center of that. Also, they did the same thing here on the side, only they did it in black, being on the white door here. You see the black star, and there is a little black Autobot symbol on in the center of it. And they did that on both sides. And also, I will mention that this, after looking at them, this is the Cyberverse Legion class mold of Smokescreen. So, they use the same mold as that one, only a little bit different here, and like I said, this one is pretty cool, I, it, it, it's new, and I just thought it was really cool looking, so I had to pick it up, but yeah, here he is, and like I said, it rolls good, most of these little Legion class cars do roll really good, so that's cool, and also, here it is, he comes with his Justice Hammer. Nice, cool-looking little hammer here. You know, he can... Uh -uh. Yeah, it works. But anyway, I will mention, too, the little police car lights here on top are removable. So you can just pull that off there if you want to. So you can be like an undercover car or just kind of a regular racing-type car like Smokescreen, if that's what you want to do. But yeah, it's, it's removable. So that is pretty cool. And like I said, you can tab it back in there. And if you want to keep it out, you can actually plug this in on top there where the lights were. So it's kind of like a... Well, maybe not a really odd-looking gun, I don't know. I mean, it works. Or you can take it and there are... There's a little port right here. And one over here. So you can plug that on either side if you want to do that in vehicle mode. 
and if you want them to stay as a police car, just plug the lights back in. And there you go. But there he is. In his nice vehicle mode. Now we'll go ahead and get down to the transformation. And this is a level 1. Easy. Not much to it. Really all you have to do. Just separate the legs back here. Bring them down. Flip the feet down. You know, fold these this back windshield part out that will come open with the doors. You're gonna bring this whole section forward. Bring these up. And then just hold the front and just push the whole back section all the way back. There we go. I got that part hung up. Just like that. And the arms here, they're on a little swivel joint here. You just want to swivel that around this way and up and rotate it like that. Same way over here, swivel it, rotate it. And there you go. There you have Prowl in his robot mode. And they did paint some yellow eyes on him. Like I said, it's, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this being as small as it is, but he does have a pretty nice head sculpt for the size, being this small. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I said, it is the Cyberverse smokescreen mold, just a repaint. Added police car lights. And he can take his Justice Hammer. And he can actually hold it in his hand. Now he can hold it both ways. He can hold it as a gun. Or he can hold it as a hammer. And there you go. He's ready for battle. Now, I do know that, like I said, it is a Beast Hunter's packaging, although I haven't really seen any, you know, spikiness on this guy. Just, you know, just like the smokescreen figure. But, uh, now, I'm sorry I don't have a Cyberverse smokescreen to compare this to, but, you know, this is him, Prowl. Still a cool figure. I do like it. And if you like the small figures, I do highly recommend it. He is really cool. And as far as joint-wise, like I said, his arms will swivel this way, which is kind of weird, but that's all to do his transformation. He does not have an elbow joint. He does not have knee joints, but he does swivel here, you know, with the feet. Arms will swivel, do a 360. Head does not move. But does have a little bit of hip movement here, but that's pretty much it. So most of these, you know, Cyberverse figures are kind of limited on their movement. Just because they're so small. But, like I said, some of them are pretty cool. But like, I had to pick that one up, so I thought it was cool. But there you go. There's Prowl. Pretty awesome. So like I said, you like these guys like the small ones, I would recommend this one. He is cool. So I would pick him up if you see him because I have only seen him in one store so far. But, yeah. Nice, cool little figure. But there he is. That's Prowl. And I just knocked him over. <laughs> anyway, there we go. And my signs are falling down. Pardon me. Just a moment. So anyway, I got it fixed now. But, uh, yeah. Cool figure, and like I said, if you're new to my channel, uh, like I said, you find me right here at YouTube, Opterotomus with two Ps, and if you like my videos, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And also, you can find me on Facebook under Opterotomus Prime. You can follow me on Twitter at Opterotomus with one P. Just like the sign, Opterotomus. And check out my website at www.opterotomusreview.com. There I have cool things all to do with Transformers. You'll see my Twitter, my Facebook, all that stuff there. My news and updates page where I give you news and updates on, on, on old 
present and future figures coming up. I have a page with a photo gallery, all kinds of cool transformer photos, you know, that kind of thing. Also, my Ustream is going to be visible there on my site, so please take some time and check it out. I'd really appreciate it, but that's pretty much it. So, this has been Optoronomous with my review of Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, Cyberverse, Legion Class, Prowl. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. So, until then, this is Optoronomous saying, Autobots, transform and roll out. He nice look. Yeah. Police car. Are you from Transformers Animated? What? Uh. You'll pay for that. Whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.